Here we are again in IL-2, Normandy, early access. This is another Normandy airplane, a collector airplane, the Spitfire 14. So I figured I'll see if I can fly this thing. It's got the, of course, it's got the Griffin engine with the five-bladed propeller. 10 feet, 5-inch diameter. Pretty good looking model. This game actually looks really good. I like the way the grass moves and stuff like that, especially when you start the engine. Pretty much, pretty much, uh, it looks pretty spectacular to me. That's a really nice looking model too. The lines just look really good on that. Spitfires and Mustangs, it's really hard to get the lines just right, you know? I've seen a lot of 3D models that just don't quite look right. They're close, but there's just something not right about it. You know? All right, in the cockpit, let's take a quick look around here. Left side, we got some trim tabs. Okay, there's our elevator trim tab, and we got a rudder trim tab. I don't have mapped to anything right now. We got rudder pedals, British control column. Uh, we got a throttle over there. We got propeller control. Mixture's automatic on this plane. We got uh, brake pressure, minimum of 80, I think they call for. That's good. I'm going to set the trim to neutral. That's what they recommend for takeoff in a clean configuration. Full fuel, or oxygen, I mean. Where's the fuel gauge on this thing? There's a boost gauge. Temperatures and pressures. Fuel, there's our fuel there. Fuel pressure warning light. Uh, we got the supercharger in in low gear. Um, landing gear, retracting, canopy control. No, not canopy. What's this stuff? Yeah, I guess that's to blow the canopy off, right? Chassis emergency lowering. Oh, no, maybe that's for... Uh, yeah, I don't know what that canister is there. If it's air or oxygen or what is that? Oxygen stop valve. It must be oxygen. Anyways, it doesn't matter too much. Canopy's open right now. Let's start. Now I did one I did do a, pr a previous flight just to make sure I could kind of sort of fly this thing. No guarantee this is gonna turn out good though. Ground handling is tricky. Um, the trick I think is to keep your, your ground speed, your taxiing speed really slow. And at the same time, keep some prop wash over the rudder. So those two, those two, two things kind of go against each other, right? So you're using like blasts of throttle and stabbing the brakes and I don't know, you don't want to nose over either. So it's, it's kind of tricky. It's a little tricky, but we'll see how it goes. Taxiing and takeoff isn't too bad. Landing could be a little tricky. I think the, the trick is going to be uh, to keep a little power on, actually, during the landing roll. So you have some airflow over the rudder while you're braking. I know it seems contradictory, but I think it might actually work. I'm going to try it on this flight anyway. Last flight, I ground looped, just so you know. So if it happens again, it's not a surprise. All right, let's start. I'm going to watch the guy go through the uh, checklist here. He's testing the priming pump there now, or the, uh, yeah, the electric fuel pump. Now he's priming. Turning the prop over by hand a few turns, make sure it's not hydrolocked. Now he's pumping the primer there, turning it a little bit more. 
We're going to watch the oil pressure as soon as the engine starts. And we want to warm up. We'll hold the brakes. We want to warm up at 1,200 RPM. Crack the throttle just a little bit. Okay, any time now. There it goes. Okay, we have oil pressure. Screw the primer pump down. Walter Green, this is Acorn Leader, requesting taxi to Runway. Over. Acorn, affirmative taxi to Runway. Acorn Leader, Roger. Roger. Okay, I think we don't... I forget what the minimum oil temperature is before you can open up the engine. Is it 40? I don't know. I can't remember. I don't want to blow the thing up. What do we got there now? 20. I don't know how long that's going to take to warm up, so we're just going to try taxiing out anyways. And hopefully it doesn't cause any issues. Okay, here it goes. There's a runway around here somewhere, I think. Maybe there isn't. Maybe this is one of those grass airfields. Looks like it. Okay, so I think we're just going to go straight down this direction. Let me just stop here for a second. Come on, stop. No ground loop. Okay. Flaps are up. Flap switch is over here. We can test the flaps. That'd be a good idea. Flaps go down quickly. Split flaps. And I can't see the flaps for the long grass. <laughs> Alright, the flaps up. Flaps are going up. Okay. Whoa. Alright, let's pick a half decent field of view here. I like somewhere around 90 degrees. See, that's a little too zoomed in for my liking. I don't know how you can set a permanent zoom factor. Maybe you just got to do that. Nope. Resets. Okay. What's our temperature like now? Uh, it's only a little more than 20. Automatic radiator on this thing. Don't, I shouldn't have to worry about that. There's a test button. I think somewhere for to test the radiator. Uh, but I don't know where it is. Not too worried about it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to close this door. So let's close the canopy first. And then we'll reopen the canopy. Well, it opens the door. No matter what you do. All right. I was hoping I could just leave the door closed and open the canopy. Now this thing should should pull to the right on takeoff, just like the Typhoon. And so for that reason, they don't recommend using more than seven pounds of boost for a normal takeoff, and then plus twelve as soon as you're airborne, just to save wear on the tires. But since we're taking off a of grass. Uh, we could probably use 12 on the grass. All right, let's go. We're going to do a climb. Uh, I'm just going to be just going to be a quick test flight. I just want to do like a climb at the at 180 up to I don't know 5,000 feet or something, and then just do some tight turns left and right. See what kind of turn performance we get. Maybe uh, check out the cruising power. You know, at about whatever 200 miles an hour, I think, is the recommended cruising speed. We'll see if it matches the pilot notes for uh, for uh, you know boost and RPM settings. There, I think we get the best range at 1800 RPM, and I think it's like minus two or minus one on the boost. 
and that should give us, you know, I don't know, 40 or 50 gallons an hour at 200 miles an hour, something like that. That's imperial gallons an hour. We only have about 130 US gallons or 111 imperial gallons on board. So, you know, that's, uh, what is that, like maybe two hours, two hours of cruising time. Never mind combat. Okay, let's go. Whoa, a little bit to the right there, not too bad. Under control. Okay, I'm gonna go plus 12. Okay, the tail's coming up at 90. Pull back a bit, come on. And we're off the ground. I think that's where we are. Landing gear is going up. We need lots of nose up trim here. Lots of nose up trim. What do we got? Two, three, three divisions. Three divisions there on the trim indicator. We're still climbing a bit fast. Head off to the east. I wanted to show you a, a landmark on this map that you might be familiar with. Let's climb up a bit steeper here. We gotta get this thing slowed down to 180. Trim up a bit more. This thing needs a lot of up trim. A lot of nose up trim guys on this one. Four four divisions there. For climbing. And we're passing through five thousand almost six thousand feet now already. Alright, that's our temperatures. Temperatures look good. All right, I'm gonna do some maximum turns here. So we'll start off to the left because if it stalls out on us, it's probably gonna flick over to the right. So let's go to combat power plus 18 boost. Let's see what kind of turn rate we can get out of this thing. Without stalling, I'm trying to maintain altitude. Buffeting. A bit more buffeting. Speeds down to 150. Strong buffeting now. Come on, she doesn't want to flick yet. Oh, there we go. There's a she wants to go there now, kind of, a little bit. Oh, yeah. A little bit. So that's about it, about 150 in a, in a turn. I'm right on the edge there of the, uh, of the stall, so I'm just going to ease off a hair and see what happens here. It's like, you know, 2.3 G's. That's pretty disappointing. 2.2 G at 150, 2.3 G at 150. Hmm. It's not overly impressive on the turn performance there. We're gonna come way back on the boost now. Let's go. Nose goes up. Wow, 
does it ever go up? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go zero boost and about, let's go 1800 RPM. Pull the prop control way back to the stop, almost. Yeah, it's right back to the stop. 1800 RPM. Trim for level flight here. And we should be cruising pretty good. Minus one there on the boost. 217 indicated. Minus two on the boost. There we go. Slowing down just a little bit. It's very weak stability. It's very hard to trim out. And the trim's not overly sensitive, but it's just it's always climbing or diving. You can't really nail it down. Borderline, borderline stable. Pretty cool. Particularly quick at this speed. Not too bad, I guess. We got about four seconds. Yeah, something like that. All right, let's push the speed up to 250. Let's uh, increase boost up to, let's go maximum, plus seven. Here's what they recommend for a weak mixture, or lean mixture that is. Actually, full throttle only gives me six at 1800 RPM. Trim down just a tad. I think they still have a lot of nose up trim here, a little bit. One and a half division snow is up still. Let's try a roll at this speed. Uh, it feels a little slower actually. Not by much, but a little bit. Pretty good though. Going the wrong way. Let's do a split S. <clears throat> Almost blacked out there at six G's. up quite a bit of boost there too. Gotta be careful of that. Go back to plus seven. Alright, let's do a maximum speed run uh, since we're at fairly low altitude. Uh, hmm. uh, you know what? I'm gonna abandon my plan to uh, head off to the east. It's going to take too long to get there. 
So let's just head towards our base at maximum speed. So push the RPM up first, then the boost. And let's go hedge hopping. Should be able to maintain 350, high 350s at this altitude with maximum boost. Engine's producing about 2,000 horsepower right now. I think it peaks at 7,000 feet, it's, uh, according to the numbers I got. 2,035 horsepower at 7,000 feet. Yeah, 357 is just about right. All right, let's zoom up into some stalls and then maybe we'll do a spin or something. And let's get this thing going up here. I've got full nose up trim right now at 175 miles an hour. Nose goes up a bit more as I throttle back. I don't know what the minimum trim speed is here, how low we can trim down to. How slow can we go? See how this thing stalls. I'm gonna pull the power right off on this thing to get it to do both. Yep. Oh, it's unstable. Borderline unstable here. It wants to pitch up with uh, when I pull the throttle back. There is enough trim to stall it when the, when the power is pulled right off. see what happens here now. I'll put in a little nose down trim just to try to stabilize it a bit. Yeah, see it wants to go up there by itself now. It's unstable here at the stall speed. And there's the buffet, 93 miles an hour, 92. Looks like that's about it. 90, come on. Need to be in steady flight, so a steady rate of descent. 96, 95. We're right on the edge here. Looks like that's about it. 96, 95. If I pull back anymore, she's going over. Okay, here she goes. Pull back. Over she goes. A little bit of a one turn and it just kind of came out of it on its own. A little bit of an oscillatory spin there. Now if I put some power into it, it might just torque right over and Your warning horn. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the gear down, or the flaps down, I mean, below 160. Oh yeah, nose goes down when I do that. Can't trim, not enough trim authority here at this speed. Let's see what the stall is like. Put the flaps down. And just for fun, I'm gonna open the canopy because we get into a spin and we can't recover, we need to jump out. And I don't know how to jump out in this simulator yet. Oh, there it goes, 91. Looks pretty much the same as every other town in this game. Still looks pretty good. It's alright. Okay, we've got to find our base. Trim, nose down, nose down. Now I could go to Essen. That's not where I took off, but whatever. It's free flight. Directly in front of us here somewhere. I gotta turn off to the side so I can see it. There it is. Okay, below 160. Gear down. Collapse down. Open the hood. This is where it gets exciting. Test the brakes. Okay. That worked not too bad. I kept about 1,500 RPM on there on the, during the landing roll. Probably could have throttled back a little bit more than that, but 
just that little bit, just keeping that little bit of airflow over the rudder. Like it gives you authority, right? I have rudder authority with the prop wash over the rudder there like that, so. Otherwise I might have ground looped, and I think I did go off the runway, but whatever. way there. All right, I'm going to come to a stop right about here. Get the flaps up. So that's my little introductory Spitfire video. I might do some combat videos. We'll see. I can't imagine. I, I just I don't know. I just can't imagine people wanting to really watch that stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just take a bunch of footage and edit it. I'm trying to do videos now that I don't have to edit. If you couldn't tell. And uh, so that's it. Any other airplanes you want to see in this sim, let me know. And uh, maybe I can do a, a test flight on that. We don't have the Normandy map yet, apparently. At least I can't find it. Like I say, I just bought this just for the typhoon there the last week or whatever. So, still exploring. 